Praise God, hallelujah. Well, well, well. We are in a midday lunchtime session. I know this, this is your time to eat. And I pray that this food will be good food for you. We are talking here this whole week right now, supernatural economics. Or the economy. I share this one about the economy. And that's the evidence of what's happening. And I thank God for all those who are eating and feeling good. You know. Well, are you prepared? Or are you being prepared? I hope you are prepared. I am prepared. I'm not preparing no more. I'm prepared for what is coming. Because the, our economy has, has, um, has professed to be stable. But i telling you, everything will get worse and worse. But only you can get better. Only you. Only you can get better. The economy, the economy, will, not, the economy will not get better. You alone can get better. And if you're going to get better, you need to be in God's kingdom economy. And I said this morning that in God's kingdom economy, there is no cash. There is no money in God's kingdom. The money is in the earth. The money is in the earth. It's in the earth here. I'll be on the night with that money is in the earth. Money, money is a natural thing. Money is not spiritual. Money is not spiritual. You spiritual. And when you have the God kind of wealth, you can make his wealth become spiritual. So stop seeing money in God's kingdom. Don't come in God's kingdom for wealth. You know, because I, I shared this morning some powerful stuff on those, on those nuggets. I didn't know one of the criteria in God's kingdom is contentment. I say contentment breeds abundance. Contentment makes abundance alive. You know, and in Matthew chapter 6, Jesus was talking here. Jesus said some, some powerful things. He says, no man can serve two master. No man. No man. We're talking here uh, supernatural economics. No man can serve two master. For either he will hate one and love the other. Or he will hold on to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon, which is money. And, and you have to understand this. In, in, in this, in this dispensation right now, after this pandemic right now, money becomes essential. It becomes essential, but God is more essential. Oh, you understand me? God is more essential and more effective in this economic time. So, but you have to come into God's kingdom right now. You see, you, can't, you cannot serve God and go after the system of the world. You, 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 you have to love one. You know, I, 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 I love God. You know, I love money too, eh? But I love God. I love my wife, but I love God more. I love my cars, I love God more. I love my crew, but I love God more. Because that is, when you love God more, automatically, you'll be part of God's economy. Because love is what brings you into the, into the presence of God to, to harvest abundance. When you love God right, right, you know, and you put God before everything. You, 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 but you see, you have to, if you love God right, you have to serve God right. You cannot love God right and don't serve Him right. Because no man can serve two masters. So if you make God your master, He will prepare you to survive in these economical days. Because it's coming, despite you don't believe it. You know, I'm, this whole week here, I'll be sharing right now on how the economy has moved. The earth economy has moved, but God's economy is still stable. God's economy is still stable. God still supply your need. You know, he still supply your need. They will say, they, they will, they will, they a typical example, God has not changed. The world system changed, but God hasn't changed. We can change, but God will always be the same. He's the same yesterday and tomorrow, and every, every day. But you have to understand how God has placed, he has bring us into a place now through his Holy Spirit, to be economically strong by, under, by knowing his word, what he contains. And he says that no man can serve two masters. I understand that. For either he will hate one. The word hate, it means does not approve the way how things are going. Doesn't approve the, the things the request to do. Right? And love the other. If you love the other, it have a demand on you, right? And God, God economy have a demand on the children. 
You've got to make some decisions. You've got to make some drastic changes to maintain God's economic life. Because God's economic life is based on some characteristics that does not contain money. It doesn't contain wealth. See? Wealth is not stability in loving God. It's a part of loving God, but it's not stability. You should not love God because of what you have or what you want to get or what you, what you can get. And you don't come to God for money. You come to God because of who He is. So no man can serve two masters. And then He will hate one, love the other. Or He will, he will hold on to one. Despise means you want to play both sides, the other. You cannot serve God and money. You know? And that's the word of Jesus Christ. And verse 25 says, so Matthew 6, 24 says that, and, and verse 25 says, Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life. That's that's biblical economics. That's, that, that, is, that, is, that is supernatural. supernatural you, you don't make your lifestyle dictate your love for God. Your, your, your lifestyle, your worldly lifestyle, should not, should not um, compass the things of God. You know? So, he said, so Jesus said, take no thought for your life. Right? What you shall eat. Wow, 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 wow. Man, that is, that, that is one of the most troublesome scriptures in biblical, in, 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 uh, in kingdom economics. How could God tell me, don't think about what I have to eat, what I have to drink? Well, then if I have to worry or wonder what I have to eat, what I have to drink, then I have to have total dependency on God to think like that. I cannot think like that. And not depend on God totally. What if God, Christ tell me, take no thought of my life. What I shall eat. Well then, he had to provide. Christ have to provide for me if I live that scripture. If that scripture, pardon me, I have to have dependency on God. What you shall eat. He said, take no thought. That means what you shall eat should not be the major, the major definition of your thoughts. Hunger should not captivate your thought and turn you against God. That's economical struck. That is strength for the for the person who is in God's kingdom. Don't 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 make it dictate your life. Money, food, you know, clothes. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life. We shall eat, shall drink, nor yet for your body. We shall put on clothes. Is not the life more than meat, and the body more, more than clothes? So here what is God showing you right now. If you have to be economically strong in God's kingdom, you must not make this thing relevant for survival. You know? Because you need righteousness as well. You need, you need contentment. So contentment now brings clothes, money, food in a different category to help you survive these coming days. Contentment will bring food and drink and your body, what you put on, right, and meat. It will bring it right now in a stability if you have this spirit of contentment. I'll be dealing with contentment this week because what many of us, we are living for God and we are not contented. We want more from God and God knows what you want before He give it to you. And sometimes the thing God gives to us might destroy us. So Jesus is saying here, take no thought for your life. That's if your life is in Christ. What you shall eat, shall drink. We're talking here, supernatural economics. Don't make your thoughts run off from your head and go after things. Things. I want things too, but I want God more. I have things too. But I have God more. I just go, I, I go into, but God has sent me. 
God, God, God has sent me. So I don't take no thought for my life, because my life is in God. And if food pass, I eat. If you don't have, I, I, I drink. I, if God, but you have to be contented. Don't. Some people right now, just eat special food. And eat, but there's that time coming right now, anything pass, you will eat. <laughs> there are times coming right now, 25, 26, 27. Anything pass, you will eat. Because you'll be so hungry. You know? That you will not make food a, 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 a distortion to your thinking. You will not make clothes, clothes distort your thinking. Drink. Verse, six, verse 26 says, uh, Matthew, Matthew 6, says that 26, Behold, the fowls of the air, the birds, for they sow not, neither do they reap. They sow not. Uh, the bird and doing one squat. And the birds does live better than me and you. They don't sow, they don't reap. And God created the bird, you know. God created the birds. And the birds don't sow, they don't reap. Much less me and you who does sow and does reap. Behold the fold of the air, for they sow not. Neither do they reap, nor gather into bands. I mean, they have no bank account. They have nothing house. They have nothing secure. Oh, get some food. Go get some food. Get some tinned food. In China right now, you see everybody, get your food because why? Starvation coming. Eh, the seen star, the seen starvation 2020, 2025. They put food right now. The birds eh, have no band to put nothing. And yet still God take care of them. Oh my God. Behold the fall of the air. For they sow not. Neither do they reap. Nor gather into bands. Yet the heavenly father feed them. Are you not much better than they are? Question. I have more value than birds and clothes and drinks and meat and money to God. So God is obligated now, once I have a contented spirit, to make sure that these elements of needs does not control me. If it controls me, it will control the God in me. And I will step out of me and go after clothes, food, drinks, meat, and money. But in God, in, in, in God economical kingdom, contentment, hey, I will beat that word. Contentment is the greatest characteristics for prosperity and success. I say contentment produces abundance. When God sees you are contented, it's a great gain. You, when you, you say godly contentment, is a great gain. A great gain. Nobody has the word gain. The word gain, it means God is obligated to make sure every economy you are in will not touch you if it falls. But you, are, you will be so contented with what you have that when people lose what you have, you, you don't mind to lose what you have, but you will not lose God. Whatever you do, don't give up on God. Your house could go, car could go, clothes go, food go, because God's kingdom economy will give you abundance. Abundance. And I thank God for these words. Remember this. Are you preparing or are you prepared. Hey, I'm prepared. You prepared? It's coming your way. Stop preparing. Be prepared. Call me here. See you tonight.
hi to our Kingdom Outreach Talk Show. It's such a pleasure to have our audience with us this evening. And of course, you special audience who are viewing on the World Wide Web. Thank you so much for watching our segment. You know, this week we have an exciting segment that is being brought to you this evening. And I trust that you all will enjoy. As you know, we are doing a segment on leadership. And you know, as God has given us leaders and pastors after his own heart. So tonight you're going to be hearing from a wonderful couple, how they go through the ministry, how they deal with leadership. So without further ado, no more delays. Please put your hands together with me as I bring to you our host for the side program, no other than the man sent from God, our own Pastor Carl and his wonderful host, Julie B. Put your hands together for them. Praise the Lord. God is good. All the time. God is good. And I greet you all again. I thank God for all those who have I know right now we are in um, Ghana. Accra, Ghana. We are also being viewed in uh, Oklahoma by Jeffrey, Jeffrey Sutton. And we are also in Canada with, uh, with um, David um, Ken, Kenneth Strickler. But tonight we want to continue the next phase on leadership. Um, this, this month going by here, we are focusing more on leadership. Uh, I, w I went home last night and, and my wife was um, on looking at TV and she was telling me something but important about the, about the churches and everything. Remember that? Yeah. Your, your, your mic on? Yes, on. Let me see. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, and, and I, it's something I always knew that will come. And, I, uh, and God has prepared me for that four years ago. I'm a leader and when you are a leader god god influence you and uh and what what happened on the on the tv she said Carl, 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 come and see this and this program was talking about that exodus did you all see it or you all you all watch news and it was saying there what they were saying babes? they were saying how the catholic church is is depleting and the full gospel church is is the the congregation is going is getting greater and just because they are going high-tech one and thing and they also give reference to the church and movie town where the, the youths they like the church and movie town because it's an atmosphere where they go on a saturday and lime so when they go there now it's that kind of atmosphere they're going to and uh, also to it's on the big screen mm -hmm. and they was give they saying how the church is right now all the churches throughout the world is going through an exodus where people are just leaving and leaving god and you know and it was a really nice documentary that they put together and they're talking about leadership and what leadership supposed to be teaching and sometimes the members when you teach the members and you tell them your, your doctrine and what they're supposed to do and they're supposed to do and they're not pleased because you tell them they don't want to do there's an exodus they're gone yeah but that 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 was always happening years ago that that didn't now come you know that happened to me before you even born but it's a different dimension and what causing that right now i believe is the internet the way the information is now being uh transparent and people have access to the live program like this program come on come on, it, it, it. Come on man. amen like live program program where people could come and give you information you know, and Google can give you about church all the time, so you need a lot of churches right now are going, uh, the, the top of the, the mega churches had uh, this TV, TV moving and everything. And the Lord told me four years ago, he said, get ready, ready, ready for this and try to build, build a place that where you can stay on one platform and minister around the world. And that's what the Lord told me to do. So I'm a leader and when you're a leader, you're following the insight of God and God influence. And I, I thank God today. I'm way ahead of the pack. Amen. 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 And I've been all churches, all churches, no matter for God, or whatever, Pentecostal, everybody, should get into the, the because the devil, the devil has only only media. And and we are fear, we're fearful of going there. But we had to go on his turf because. Pornography is on the cell phone. Raw sex is on the cell phone. All in the cell phone. So why can't we have pure gospel?
the dead man, Jesus Christ. He is the man you got to have favor with before you have favor with God. You could never, uh, you, you need favor with that dead man. Ask him why. He alive. That man who is dead, he alive. So you need that man in your system having favor from a dead man. And now he was dead to I'm alive. So thank God he bring me here as a messenger. And so you will not believe my messenger. This is Niobe. Hope you're locked in and ready for that fresh revelation with me at 4 p.m. sharp, one-on-one -on -one with Niobe 101. Don't miss it. Amen. 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 If they have if everything negative is on is on internet, why can't we have pure gospel uh, Bible teaching thing on the Bible 20, 20, 24 hours? So I believe that this is a time that the churches need to rise up and go high tech and spend the money. Don't put the money in the bank. Spend the money and buy the equipment and and like what, what I'm doing right now. We are streaming live and all over the world. And I thank God for vision. Come on, say, come on, say vision. vision. And vision deals with leadership. And I've been pastoring for um, for 27 years this year. And also this 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 month is a special month for me. On on Saturday coming here, this Saturday here, we make it 36 years. I was in an auto accident. And I had an outer body experience where my spirit left my body for two and a half days. On Saturday morning at 9.30, my car crashed down in the, in the countryside. And I left my body for two and a half days and came back Monday morning. And I had an experience that was in hospital for all these months. So this time, this time for me is a time of, a time of reminiscing and, and, and reflecting where God brought me from. 36 years ago, I was in an auto accident. And since that accident, I messed up a couple of times. And now I know I'm sure I'm 30 years in Christ. Solid. Amen. Oh, no, in, in, in solid, solid. So leadership, when you when you're in Christ, you have to stay strong, stay sincere. Because God did not bring me out of the grave to come and mess up. Amen. And I thank God again for my wife. And when I came back the, from the from the grave, and then the Lord gave me a lovely wife, and she has given me a life, 31 years of a life. So, amen, amen. You hardly find leaders right now with wife 31 years, unless they are old veteran like Dr. Price and and uh, Jake, all these guys in them. But I am not going 31 years married to the same woman. And that is a gift from God. And that is because I'm a good leader. And a good leader will always do it right. Amen, somebody. Amen. And tonight I, I wanna I wanna bring a couple that um I am I am prone to really train and and now he's now my assistant and his wife is about to be um, ordained as a minister of the gospel. Because in our in our ministry, we do not believe in leaders and women authority over men. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. We do not believe that women supposed to lead the husband. Women supposed to rule the house and woman is boss. Then you You know, we don't believe that 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 this is happening in the Bible. You know, God gave a woman 
a, a man or woman to help him. And once you can help him, that's a ministry. Amen. 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 And once in a ministry, you have to know your position. And once you know your position, then God can bless that couple. So I want to bring to my, my, my platform here uh, Elder Dr. S O T S Imaji and Basilia. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on down. Come on, give me a give me a Amen. Amen. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, amen. Come on up here. I, I thank God again for this cup hopper and the booty just came back uh, this morning or last night. And he's a flying doctor. And also he's also he's a medical doctor, he's a surgeon, and he's a qualified doctor, and he's also an elder and my and my he's one of the pastor's assistant. He, we don't have assistant pastor here. We have pastoral assistant. And he's my, my assistant and my wife and I he look at us as musician. Uh, Tune in for our Nugget segment at 9 a.m. from Monday to Friday for compact revelation, short pitch statements with deep meaning. In the eyes of him that have it, wherever he goeth or turneth, it prosper. That gift is not of God. Some people like to like to give things to get something in return. That is not a gift from God. the script here that God gave me to share it with the public and um numbers chapter 4 43 to 47 just about a few verses and it said in verse 4 from 30 years old and upward even until 50 year old everyone that enter in the, into the service for the work of the tabernacle of the congregation even those who are numbered of them are for their families were 3,200. These be those that were numbered of the family of the sons of uh, uh, Moriah, who Moses and Aaron numbered according to the word of the Lord by the hand of Moses. All those that were numbered of the Levites, who Moses and Aaron are the chief of the chief of Israel numbered, after their family and after their husband father. Verse 47. For from 30 years old and upward, even unto 50 years old, everyone that came to do the service of the ministry and the service of the burden of the tabernacle, the congregation, was sent by God. So it shows here that no one can enter into ministry without leadership, without the leader Moses and Aaron handpicked them from the family and, and you cannot just try to say i'm a leader and that is why i, I read the script here from 30 years old why 30 years old because 30 years old was the age of maturity the age of wisdom and the age of accountability that's why the old that's an old testament teaching today all kind of people right now right up 25 26 my pastor my missionary i'm a this I'm a elder, I'm a leader, and everything there. So just rise up from nowhere. And they never they, they was ne, ne, never mentored or, or, or discipled by, by, by someone who is qualified. And I thank God today I'm qualified. I've produced over 15 elders, 19 pastors in my whole ministry. I ordained pastors in, in Kenya. I ordained 36 pastors in Kenya. 
And so I am qualified to do all these things. So I know good leaders. Dr. Otiso, I have you here. Called you the ministry. How long in, how long in our ministry? How long? Um, about 10 years. 10 years. Everybody, come on. Come on, say 10 years. Come on, come on, say 10 years. So it took you 10 years to be uh, the assistant to the pastor. You sit down for 10 years and that only came last year, last year, this, this year. This year will be the 10 Yeah, this year you become my assistant. So, he, that, he did not, he, only a medical doctor and he's also gifted, he's he a preacher, a teacher of God's word. He's married. It took him 10 years before God inspired me to make him the assistant. Because when you hear God bring you his, his service for the ministry and a, and a, a leader had to watch who he put to lead him. My, you know, my, my wife, she don't lead me. I, I lead her because that's how God designed it. You see, God put her so I the leader. And if, I, I, I said a table last time, if my wife doesn't allow me the leader, she's a rebel. You see, because that's how God designed a wife as a man must lead his wife. Amen, Sister Jody. And if you don't want your husband to lead you, I, I, I had a, a tape of Pastor Chris said, you are a rebel because that's the order of God and that's the only how you can bring this leadership into ministry and your wife, Basila, I'm just talking because I want to let people know what is leadership um, and I'm very strong on leadership and um, also uh, Sister Bess has come from Nigeria how long have you, how long have you been here? Um, this year is the 8th year come on, 8 years, oh, so come on, amen so you came in this church two years after he came? Well, about a year plus. So you here so long? Yes, <laughs> real long. <laughs> when, you, 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 when you came here, you had no children, right? Yes. No, no, they have two, two boys born in this church. Come on, tell, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. No, they're born in America, but grew up in this church. Right. You know, I had, a, I had a crack myself. Because she went, she went to America, America for competitions and she had them there. Amen? Okay, so Sister Bess, now the Lord has now desired me now to ordain you. Or the, when the word ordain, it means to be selected. You cannot be ordained unless you are qualified. Ordination comes through qualification. PBN is now on TikTok. Check us out at pbn.tv, Clipped Preachings with Compact Revelation. For a person to do drugs or crime, fornication or adultery. You have, to, you have to have a disobedient spirit. You cannot obey God and do wrong. If, if you obey God's word, how can you do wrong? You're only doing wrong because you willfully choose to do wrong. And the angels will not, was not assigned to help you do wrong. They were assigned to help you do right. In a world where news never seems to be good, back to view from February, PBN's Gospel News. News that brings to you biblical concepts local and international. The latest coverage of God's people, you see it first on PBN. We make sure you get the right updates each time, every time. At 10 a.m. Monday to Friday, I am Rena here bringing you good news from Podium Broadcasting Network. Ordination comes through qualification. And she has been here for eight years. And now for the first time, she'll be now ordained as Elder OT wife. And she will ordain a minister of the gospel. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, amen. With my wife is the first minister of the ministry. My wife was, was ordained by a presbytery. She was the first minister. The reason why ordained as a minister. When you are owning a minister, you have access to multi-purpose ministry. See, when you are a minister, a minister is an office, you have access to all ministries 
as the Holy Spirit and God see it fit. Dr. Oti, how do you approve your wife of going to obtain that office and if you approve, why? Well, yes, I have um, because she has all the qualities, the desire and the ability and, uh, and the call to function in, in, in the ministry. So, Sister Beth, did you, did you, did you, did you, did you, did you expect this to come, come at you? Well, I didn't expect it to come this year, but somehow, you know, I just, I know that I have a call on my life. Right. So I know that at some point, you know, you will be led somehow. You know, because if your husband is my assistant, you know, you are my wife, keep at that. You know that you, you are my wife, you, you all now come in uh, 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 rank. Everybody come on, come with a rank. Is that what you use? Everybody come with a rank. No, you have given rank. Because your husband have rank. God, God nominated this man. And what make it right there? We have a inner circle of, of 11 men. Because I have the Jesus model here. I see the 11 men. I have the Jesus model. I have the Jesus model. I say I have the Jesus model. Amen. Once a church is built on Jesus model, it's a strong church. Amen. And all these men. When the Lord came and nominated Dr. O Oti as, as my assistant, every, not one person around the table rejected. Some people say, but I thought he was. I, 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 I know he always was. I don't know, you're not bringing this faster, but he was moving it always with you because he supports me. Come on, somebody, come on, somebody. Amen. So, so, so now your wife now going to be on the, on the, on the, um, on the, um, the 14th of July, the anniversary, she will be ordained along with the diploma. The diploma also will be ordained as a minister in the ministry because she's singing and preaching. And she, and she has a lot of the diploma coming in with this now. Have an outside ministry from the church. She out like she wasn't here last week. She wasn't there. She was not function last week. One of the biggest catalyst function. Really, where we had it, they had it, they had it. The senior pope of Trinidad. Oh, that's Bishop. Oh, that's senior pope. <laughs> right. Yeah. And she and, and he he was a guest there. And I sent her. Because it's a ministry. I can say, well, she's a Catholic, the Catholic, don't go. No. I sent her. I released her. Go. Bless the people. Because when you have a ministry, it's for people. That's right. Come on, say everybody. Come on, come on, say people. People. So, so that is one of the that you want one of the gifts in here, and you know, um, this and this scripture in numbers, it, it really stands out, you know. And I, uh, and I believe that that Moses and Aaron was given the rights by God to save from the families, right? And I, I did not put your wife over you. It is, it is wrong when a leader. Put a wife over a husband. Amen, somebody. Amen. It is wrong when you put your wife, when a, when a leader put a woman over a husband. Ask her why. She will take the church home. to have our audience with us this evening and of course you special audience who are viewing on the world wide web thank you so much for watching